happy day 11 of vlogmas it is really really crunch time now it's december 22nd i took a half day at work so i'm officially out so today i just did some like finalizing things cleaning up some things now i can just focus on christmas stuff and in classic sheila and george fashion we still need to finish christmas shopping i technically am done with my shopping i would say george is not so we have a lot of stuff that we need to get for his family and then he still needs to get stuff for me i think we might go to barnes and nobles and do a i'll go buy you a book he'll go buy a book like type of date type thing which i think will be fun i've gone the easy way this year with just getting like gift cards because my family is just i just it's just difficult to shop <laughs> for my family and i just haven't had the energy or capacity to really think much about gifts so the gifts while i'm trying to be thoughtful in my intention they might not be as entirely thoughtful as past gifts have been and that's completely okay given the circumstances of my life <laughs> that in the past month and the end of this year honestly i think the gift to my family will just be spending time with them because i am going home i still don't know when i'm just being indecisive about everything in terms of my travel plans today was a really bad health day for me this whole week's been bad just with my period my cramps were so bad yesterday i like could not i couldn't leave the house and when i did leave the house and got starbucks i spilled it everywhere when i got home so that was my day in a nutshell yesterday but anywho it's time to go back to the house i just need to eat lunch and then george and i are going to go out shopping for the afternoon it's like raining all day there's a huge snowstorm happening in the midwest and we just we're just getting the rain because it's not cold enough to get snow so it'd be nice if it was snow but we just have a rainy day flood watches we should be okay so yeah grab a comfy seat a cozy beverage and let's embark on our last minute christmas shopping gift wrapping because i have a lot of gifts to wrap extravaganza <laughs> Cute little planner. I think it's only a monthly one. in pajamas it was quite the adventure we went on the mall was very successful although we had plans afterwards to do more shopping and going to Barnes and Nobles and we just had to kind of call it quits because low energy I was hangry and I kept thinking that tomorrow is Christmas Eve for whatever reason because of how Christmas falls on a Sunday and my mind is just like messed up. My goal was to get everything like Christmas shopping done today so I didn't have to go out anywhere tomorrow because we're getting this snow, rain, freezing storm, and it'll just be like terrible to go outside tomorrow. But knowing that Christmas Eve is not until the day after tomorrow, I feel a little less stressed. So we have just a few more things to get like gift cards and then I think we're just gonna do Barnes and Nables tomorrow and then that'll be it. So I think I'm gonna extend this vlog into tomorrow because I don't really have <laughs> much going on but i am going to do some gift wrapping because i have neglected to do any sort of wrapping in a while and they need to get done so i think i'm gonna make a cup of tea do some gift wrapping and i'm watching the harry and megan <laughs> documentary on netflix which has been interesting so far i'm just on the first episode so i'm just curious to kind of 
formulate my own opinion based on all of the information that's come out about the documentary, but also just, you know, critical thinking. We like critical thinking around here. Let me show you guys our cute little plant that my friend Jillian gave to me. We had to stop at her house on our way doing errands to drop off a gift and just to say Merry Christmas. And we got this little cactus that George and I are calling Paxton. It's an inside joke, but welcome to the family, Paxton. a little snag last night while I was wrapping gifts. In classic Sheila fashion, I need to buy more wrapping paper and more gift bags. Go figure. It wouldn't be Christmas without me waiting to the last minute to realize I don't have enough supplies and then I need to go buy said supplies. But the good thing is we still need to go out anyway to finish Christmas shopping today in the treacherous weather that is occurring and transpiring. So today is gonna to be an adventure, friends. I hope you're ready for the ride. So before we engage in total Christmas chaos, I thought I'd give myself a little mindful morning moment and just do some reading and start this book, Meet Me Under the Mistletoe by Jenny Bayless. I, you guys, I'm one book away from reaching my big reading goal for the year. That readathon I did was, it did it did wonders for me because I don't feel like I'm behind anymore. I feel like I can ease through this book and take my time and savor it because it's over 400 pages. So I don't want to like rush this. And then there's another book I want to read after I read this one to go into the new year. So I might actually exceed my reading goal. Now, is that a plot twist or what? Christmas shopping. Are you excited? We're not excited. <laughs> Let's go. First stop is Barnes and Noble because we're gonna do a book shopping exchange thing. It's starting to sleep. So I'm gonna look for a book for George and George's gonna look for a book for me. It'll all be secret, we won't know. And then we won't know until we open the gift on when we open our gifts. You guys get the gist of this.
Socialist. This one. <laughs> and the books are tiny. Plus, that JoJo. Yeah, it's that one thing that we have to still watch. It's the painter from JoJo. He was a villain, and then he became a big guy. This is like a classic. We had to ask for customer service, but I found. Two mangas for George, and I'm gonna sneakily purchase them now. <laughs> Yay! All right, Barnes and Nobles was a success. Is it a success? Thumbs up. <laughs> so now we're done with that. We can finish doing other Christmas shopping for family and stuff. And it's it's an ice storm now. My car is frozen. So this is turning to be a very adventurous shopping day. But we got the books, so that, that's all that matters. We are thriving on the stress right now. <laughs> ah. We are home. We survived the Christmas holiday chaos, and I thought once we got back, I wouldn't have to go back out again, but I need windshield wiper fluid <laughs> because I'm out and I can't be driving around over the holiday weekend without any wiper fluid in my car. And we need to go grocery shopping because we normally grocery shop on Sundays, Christmas on a Sunday. The holidays, Christmas falling on the weekend is just a very inconvenient <laughs> scenario for all of us involved. Fortunately, I was able to find wrapping paper. There was a lot of wrapping paper still available, but everything else was pretty much gone, like gift bags. Like these were the only holiday bags I could really find. And I needed more of this size. And there just weren't any that were holiday colored. So my hack is just to go to the like normal party section, stationary section and try and find bags. And a lot of those were picked out. So we just went with classic brown. <laughs> because if I wanted to, I could decorate and DIY these, but I'm probably not going to do that because I am tired. And I got some Christmas cards. I wanted to get Christmas cards at Barnes and Noble, but I completely forgot because my brain was not thinking and I just got these money cards. I should be good, <laughs> should be good. So I think the plan for the afternoon is to try and wrap gifts, which is going to be like a gradual thing because I was pretty exhausted last night, but also we got home late and I was trying to wrap late and then just had to go to bed. <laughs> so I'm hoping to gain my energy, take breaks, and try and get everything wrapped. It's been a very productive wrapping afternoon. We are not finished with everything because there is still more to be wrapped, but this is kind of the fruits of the afternoon 
labor. I still have to deal with stuff in here. And I think that's really it. Also have just a ton of gift cards to give away. George has a huge family if you <laughs> don't already know. And look at this wrapping paper that I got at Target on my Mad Dash. It is so cute. I want to draw all of these cute little characters. And the mug and the gingerbread man. I love it. These are all manga books for George. <laughs> I may have went a little overboard, but I love buying books. I feel like that's that's definitely a weakness of mine. So he's gonna be very happy <laughs> with all the books that he got. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I honestly have no idea how much footage I have and if it ends up not being as much as I thought it is, maybe I'll vlog some more, but it's just been a crazy vlog of scrambling, <laughs> last minute shopping, gift wrapping, and not a lot of peace, but I'm hoping to chill tonight. And then tomorrow is Christmas Eve. And I think George and I are gonna open gifts tomorrow and I think I have to figure out when I'm going to my parents. Honestly, I think I'm probably gonna go like Christmas morning. I've never really traveled on Christmas, so that'll be interesting. Being indecisive is not is not a good, it's, it's one of my toxic traits. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a crazy Vlogmas episode 11. That means we have one more episode left. I haven't even had time to think about how sad I am that Vlogmas is ending. But we have one more video left and it's gonna be, I think I'm just gonna have it be like a, re a Christmas reading vlog where I focus reading Meet Me Under the Mistletoe and just take you along for my Christmas travels. So I'll start vlogging that final episode tomorrow and it'll go up after Christmas. But thank you for being here, friends. Sorry if this vlog was all over the place. I don't know, maybe it'll come together when I actually sit down and edit it, but <sighs> wishing you a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah. Happy New Year. We're not there yet. I'm definitely going to have another video up <laughs> before New Year. But if I don't see you or you don't see me by the time we get to 2023, laundry's done. Happy New Year. <sighs> see you in the next one.